Good afternoon and welcome to the next short video in the Ahargana series. In episode 9, I had uh, shown you all the asterisms, the nakshatras, as you, you can see right in front of your eyes, and I had said that everything that is inside the ecliptic circle is north of the ecliptic, and everything that is outside the ecliptic circle is south of the ecliptic. But north and south as being inside and outside a circle are not very intuitive. So I am going to show you, to make it more clear, I am going to show you a different perspective of this picture and it is called the orthographic perspective. Take a look. There you go. Now what is this perspective? What you see in front of you is obviously a globe. But what globe is this? First of all, this is not the earth. Because if it is the earth, you should be able to see India and China and the USA and Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean. Nothing is visible. And of course, Tellurium is a sky software. Yeah, It's a planetarium software. So what you are seeing is called the celestial sphere. It is not the Bhugola, it is not the earth, but it is the Kagola, the celestial sphere. And to understand this perspective, think of yours, for a moment you think that you are Brahma. And you have gone far away from Brahmanda and you are looking back and seeing in front of your eyes Brahmanda, Brahmanda. And in the middle of this Brahmanda is the earth, which Brahma has placed there. So instead of calling it Brahmanda, the astronomical term is Kagola or a celestial sphere. Now clearly this is a model, this is not a reality and because you cannot model an infinite space inside a small computer screen. You have to do something to make it finite and give it a shape. In this case, the shape is that of a sphere. So effectively what you are seeing is the representation of the entire space that surrounds the earth and all the stars which are in that space. So given this perspective, it is still geocentric because like I told you, in the middle of this is the earth and everything is revolving around the earth. Now given this perspective, you can see that north is in the top, there you go, and south is in the bottom. This is a very familiar perspective for us. And now you can clearly see when I say, let's say Ashwini is north of the ecliptic, there you go, it's, it is north of the ecliptic because we are so used to this perspective where north is up and south is down. And Bharani is north, Kritika is north, Rohini is south, Mrigashiras is south, Ardra is south and so on and so on. You can clearly now visualize the ecliptic as well as the stars, whether they fall north or south of the ecliptic. Now, of course, why is the ecliptic slanting? The ecliptic is slanting because in reality, the earth is tilted. You know, the ac axis of the earth is tilted by 23 and a half degrees from the orbit of the sun. This is high school uh, astronomy, which all of us know. But in this projection, the Earth's axis is shown to be vertical, top to bottom, north to south. And hence, the ecliptic has become slanting. Let's say, once again, this is a model, this is not the reality, but it is a model which serves a purpose. It clearly illustrates to, to us certain basic concepts of astronomy. And another point I would draw your attention to is, just like on the Earth, you can see latitude and longitude lines here. So it's the concept is that all the latitude and longitude lines of the earth are projected outwards into the celestial sphere. So here also there is an equator. Let me turn on the line. So this line is the celestial equator. And this would be the equivalent of the Tropic of Cancer, but on the celestial sphere. And this would be the equivalent of the Tropic of Capricorn, but on the celestial sphere. 
So I will continue to use this uh, projection a little bit later because it so clearly shows north and south, up and down that I need this for illustrating the concept of Uttarayana and Dakshinayana. So at that time we will revisit this model but right now all I wanted to show you was the asterisms and how they are placed with respect to the ecliptic north-south using this perspective. So let me close this short video now. Thank you very much for watching.